Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to be looking at module four, lesson six, homework. And for the first section, it says to solve using mental math if you can, and to use your place value chart and place value discs to solve those you cannot do mentally. Um, if you forgot to bring your place value discs home, you could just use a um, scratch piece of paper and you could draw them out if you're unable to do them in your head. So you could just draw your place value chart out and I'll just quickly, I'll show you how to do one of them. So let's do this one, 34 plus 49. So that would be three tens, four ones, and 49 is one, two, three, four tens and nine ones. So I'd first start by going to my ones place. Well, I know this is nine, so it needs one more to make a 10. So it leaves me with three ones because these I just turned into a 10. Now let's add up my tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I get the answer of 83. So if you're able to do these in your head, you can, or you could draw a place value chart off on a, either off on the side or on a scrap piece of paper. All right, the next section says to solve the following problems using your place value chart and place value discs, compose a 10 if needed, and think about which ones you can solve mentally too. So kind of the same things. Um, if you don't have your discs, you can just draw a chart off on the side. And the last one, there are three word problems. So let's go through. The first one says, Melissa has 36 more crayons than her brother. Her brother has 49 crayons. How many crayons does Melissa have? Well, I know her brother has 49. And it says that Melissa has 36 more than that. So I'm going to need to... Take that 49 and add 36. And it's asking us to use a place value chart. So we're going to draw our place value chart. Hundreds, tens, ones. And I'm going to model my numbers. 49 has four tens. And it has nine ones. Thirty-six has three tenths and six ones. And I always start by adding my ones together first. Well, nine ones, all I need is one more to make a group of ten ones. And I know every time I make a group of ten ones, I'm going to turn that into or compose a ten. So I no longer have these 10 ones. I now have a new 10 and I'll see what's left. It leaves me with one, two, three, four, five in the ones place. Now I'll add up my tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I don't need to bundle them together because it's only eight. If I had had 10, I could bundle together to make a hundred, but that's not necessary. So my answer is, Melissa has 85 crayons. And then you would do the same thing for the following questions. Just draw out your place value chart to find your answer. All right, guys, hope that was helpful. See you tomorrow in class.